So welcome to Kiai Africa, a segment where we will be bringing you the issues and uh, the stories of farmers around Kenya. And today we are in Nyeri. We are talking to one of the farmers in Nyeri. And here we have um, her doing a lot of amazing work here. We have 6,500 chicken here in this house. So we will be talking to her for her to take us through the journey from where she started, the issues of feeding and where she is right now and whether there is any profit coming out of this venture. And then after that, we will talk to the farm manager and we will know what happens in this area. Welcome as I welcome her. So here I am joined by Madam Regina. Uh, surprisingly, Madam Regina was my math teacher in high school and I'm happy to see her again and what she is doing here. Karibu sana, Madam Regina. Asante. Uh, we want to talk to you about what you are doing here and see whether we can be able to motivate the young people to come towards this mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. And therefore we want to know from where you started, mm -hmm. with how many chicken yes. and where, and then we can go ahead. Okay, as you be too, Madam Regina. I'm in poultry farming and especially specialist in broiler farming. I started this business way back about 10 years ago, 2010. I started with 150 bats. I've been growing, increasing the bats. Then I went to 1,000. I, I stayed with 1,000 bats for some time. Then from 2018, I decided to expand the business because I was doing the 1,000 at my home. So I, I decided to look for somewhere where I can be able to expand. That's how I came to this place. I acquired this land. And now I'm doing 6,500. 6,500 at a time? Yes. Ago. Yes. And I understand you have, when you bring them in, yeah. what period do, do you have to stay with them? I bring them when they are one day old chick. Yes. So we brood her. Yes. We, we make sure they are warm for about two weeks. We feed them properly. We, after, when they are about six weeks, that's the time we take them to the market. Okay. Yes. You do the slaughtering here or you will... Yeah, we do the slaughtering here. Uh, yes, we slaughter. Yes. And we deliver them to the market. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. And then when they are coming in as a day-old chick, mm. how do you take care of them for those two or three weeks? We, we take care of them just the way you take care of a young Yes. We make sure that they are warm. Yes. We light jikos. Yes. Or we use we use what? We use gas. Yes. To brood we put them warm. Yes. We make sure they are warm. Yes. Uh, that one takes about and we, we still monitor the temperatures. We make sure that the temperatures do not go below 30 yes. degrees centigrade. Yes. Centigrade for the first two weeks, mm. 14 days. Mm. Then after that we stop lighting. Mm. We expose them. Yes. Yes. After that. We, we we make sure that they have enough water feed. Mm. We feed them for about for for six weeks. Then we go to the market. Okay. Yes. So when you are exposing them, mm. you just like today is the fourteenth day. No, so the, we, the fifteenth no. day. What we do maybe when it, when it is warm. Yes. When it is warm during the day. Yes. We don't light the jikos during the day. Okay. Or gas. Yes. But at night we make sure that we light. Mm. So when it is warm during the day, we monitor the temperature. If it is not below that, we don't light the jiko. Yes. But when it is cold, mm. we light the jikos. Okay. We, that one we make sure, especially for the first 10 days, mm. we maintain that temperature. Mm. After the 10 days, yes. we try to now adjust. Yes. If it, when it is hot, if before we are lighting the jikos at 6 in the evening, yes. we go reducing the time. Okay. Maybe we, the, the, 11, the, door we, the 11th day, we go to 8 yes. p.m. Yes. 12th door we go to 10 p.m. Yes. Then we go to midnight. Mm. Then we go to 2. Mm. Then after that we stop lighting. We, okay. do, we don't just stop. Okay. We do it it's gradual. Not a, it's not a yeah. one day. Thing. Yeah, but it's you have gradual. to do it gradual. You cannot just okay. stop. Okay. Because I, when, when, as you do that, yes. when, when you're brooding, yes. you have enclosed them to a small place. Yes. After, after three days, you go increasing the area, the area as okay. they grow, mm. because they'll be squeezed. Okay. Because these bars, they, you have to give them enough space. Mm. And by the time they are, we are taking them to the market, yes. each bird is supposed to have occupied one square foot. One square foot. Yeah, for broilers. Okay. Yes. Mm. That is within those because they are yeah, Because they grow mm. very fast. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You hear we take them to the market within six weeks? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, when is the most delicate part of 
the most delicate part is when they come. Yes. You have to make sure that you are there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Even if you have some people to take care of them, yes. you cannot just be calling. Yes. You have it is this is hard on. Mm. Yeah. So we can't do the mobile you, farming. You don't do the mod <laughs> with broira, yes. you cannot do the mobile farming. You have to be there. You have to, to be ensure there. that everything is being yes. done. Yes. Even if you have somebody who is responsible, you have to be there. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. Because you need to monitor the feeds, you yes. need to monitor the growth. Mm. The feeding, mm. even the way they are, the 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 the, the, the hygiene. Yes, because it is key. Mm. Yeah. Was there any one time that you brought in the birds and you lost almost all of them? Upon, You've never lost God, them. God has been so faithful. Yes, I've not lost. Mm. 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 But there are farmers who yeah, bring the birds happens. and you. It you, happens. You, I yes. have a friend. Yes. Uh, the, she had brought fifteen hundred. Yes. The old lady, she was left with less than two hundred. Less than two hundred. Yes. That's so discouraging. Yes, eh? yes, yes. Very discouraging. Because she had been told that the bus had been vaccinated. Yes. At the at the hatchery. Yes. And I think they, they had not vaccinated. Mm. So okay, they, they they paid back. Yes. But they did pay everything, even mm. if you are given back the bats. Yes. And the fees are not you are mm. not paid for Refunded, the Refunded, Yes. Yeah. You are not able to take yeah, care can, of them. They cannot be able to compensate everything. For sure. For, for sure. Mm. 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 So um. Uh, so when you are you've gone through the process from uh, the time they come to the time you are going towards now the the taking it to the market mm. how much feeds do you need to have how for? much feed do you need to, to yes, have yes yes let's These do with a thousand okay yes uh, let us do per bad yes per bad yes for 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 the first three weeks yes we have we have two types of in fact we have four yes because you can have starter match yes starter crumbs yes Finisher mash mm. and finisher parrots. Mm. You can start with the e starter mash or starter cramps. Yes. It is the same feed. Okay. That is what we give for the first three weeks. Yes. And each bird is supposed to consume one kg. One kg. One kg of starter. Yes. After three weeks, yes. you don't just stop the starter and yes. you go to finisher. Yes. Even that one is Introduce, gradual. You, okay. For about three days, yes. you mix. Mm. You mix starter. Yes. And finisher. Mm. Starter ikisha, mm. you stop. Okay. Now you continue with mm. the finisher. Mm. Then for the finisher, yes. by the time they are six weeks, if you want to have them, if you want to sell them when they are 35, yes. they are that you can sell when they are 35 days, okay. depending on where you are taking. Mm. Or 35 to 42 days. Okay. So by the time they are 42, because me, I'll give you about 42 because that is what I do. Yes. By the time they are 42, yes. So you, you fed them on one kg starter. Yes. Then this finisher, mm. finisher parrot or finisher mash, yes. you give about 3.7 kgs per bird. Okay. So the total mm. feed for yes. per bird yes. is 4.7 kgs. 4.7 by the time you are taking it by to the, the market. By the time you are taking it to the market. Uh, yes. That is how much in uh, currency? In currency? Yes. Currency it wise? depends on your buying price. Yes. Because like now for the for the starter, mm. it is maybe 85 per kg. Okay. 85 per kg. Yes. This finisher, mm. It is about seven, 78 mm. to 80 okay. per kg. Mm. When you convert that one, yes. then there is buying of the of the chick. Yes. The chicks, like now they are going for 80. Mm. 80 bob. Yes. No, 90. 90, depending 90. on where you where are buying, you are buying from, it. the quality. Yes. yes. Then there is the vaccine, all that. The cost, cost price per bird these days, because mm. everything is high, mm. it is about 500. 500 yeah. per bird before it gets per to bird. the market. That is the cost price. Okay. Yes. Okay. I do not want to ask about the, the, profit. the profit at the, the end. The profit yes. depends on the marketplace. Okay. Because this business, mm. is, it depends on the, the market. demand and the supply. Yes. Yes. Mm. When the supply is high yes. and the demand is low, yes. the prices go down. Mm. Yes. So there is a time you will find that there what you you even yes. go at a loss, mm. but you don't give up. You yeah. persist. Yes. Yes. You still continue. I think all the businesses is persistent. Yes. Yes. You persistence have persistence is the key. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. But seeing that you are in this business for more than ten years, yeah. you must be making something out of it. You know you what usually happens? Yes. When, when you go at a loss, it, the loss maybe the loss is not that high. Yes. And even if it's high, mm. you know when you are doing for room. Yes. It, the, the same case happens when yes. you go at a loss. Yes, it is it's a you. big yes, it's a yes. big loss. Then when you get uh, make profit, yes, you make a, a good, good profit. Yes. So when you compare the profit mm. and the loss, mm. you see. There, there was a time farmers were complaining so much about the feeds. Yeah, there are times you are not getting quality feeds. Yes. So you, you can feed these birds on 
on you can feed the bats yes. on feet which is not quality yes even you give it that 4.7 or 4.8 kg yes and when you go to the market mm. it has no weight mm. so you end up going at a loss yes yes so when you are choosing the feeds what are the elements that you need to ensure they are in the feet you, you that one we, we are not so concerned yes what you usually look at because when you try to look at the the ingredients the elements, in the yes, feeds, yes. It, that time can be a charge to us yes. as farmers yes what you usually do is yes. when you feed these birds mm. and i go to the market maybe yes. it is that six weeks yes and maybe i'm able to attain a weight of 1.9 yes that Our is bird. dressing weight yes that is a good feed mm. i'm good to go okay yeah dressing From 1 meaning 9, whole when bird. it is rotten oh, okay. okay when it is rotten yes that is 1.9 yes. to 2 yes that means it's a good feed mm. because there are other feeds you feed yes the, the bats are not growing they're mm. not at the weight yes mm. so you find at the end of it all you have one kg yes. per bird yes. and therefore that makes you get yeah. a loss yeah obvious you mm. got a loss mm. yeah mm. there are okay. even times the yes. prices can be very good that you make a loss if your bats have no weight okay yes there is market but the weight is not enough the, the and bats have no weight mm. yeah mm. Mm. okay i understand yes uh, would you be knowing the vaccination the vaccination like now these bats yes in, 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 most most of the bats we are getting yes. especially when you get from Ke from kenshi yes we get pre-vaccinated okay but okay. yeah they, they vaccinate at the hashari mm. so what usually happen yes. maybe you can give we, me I only, I only give one vaccine yes on the from 14th to 16th day there. yes yes that is a booster mm. for for newcastle yes yeah but they vaccinate at the hashari okay yeah. okay then if they are not fa vaccinated yes. at the, the hashari yes you are supposed to give a vaccine on the 14th day. The 14th day. You give another one on no on the on the seventh day you give the first one. Yes. That is maybe it is it is it's Newcastle. Yes. On the on the twelfth day yes. you give another one. Mm. That is the Gubor. Yes. On the fifteenth day you give another one. For each you give two doses. Mm. At the twenty first yes. you give another one for Gubor. Okay then you are done mm. yeah okay okay but these these days yes most of the hatcheries they are giving pre-vaccinated birds mm. yeah okay they vaccinate them at the hatchery mm. mm. and what are the signs that when you get to this room mm. you will be able to notice that my cheeks are not okay you i can be able to tell from the rook the way they are you can see something which is healthy you can be able to tell yes something like now when i come you see the, the feet are by the way one of the signs is the feet yes. if you see they are not consuming the feet yes because right now their fees there is what we give yes. each day mm. the quantity we give each day yes if right now today i'm supposed to give maybe 10 bags yes then i feed them i see I, they didn't finish the feet yes i will start mm. wondering have some yeah, because that is one of the reasons yes you notice that they are not consuming the feet mm. Mm. do they that get is. to a point and you feel like they are coughing or something yeah like that? you feel as if they are sneezing yes yeah mm. Mm. now that you can is tell. another sign you you know that they, there's something wrong mm. Mm. Yeah. okay like now there's a time in hand about 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 how many three bushes behind yes i could see you know i scared they are sneeze, sneezing yes they were not consuming the feet mm. so what happens i took one of them for for post-mortem yes i was told they are, well, they were suffering from bronchitis yes yeah so i gave them nini. the medicine yes mm. yeah. that time they were about 25 days mm. You have officers who come to look Yo, you take you take the bat to the to the to mm. somebody who can do the new post yes. for you so we are back to madame regina's farm and now we want to talk to the farm manager so that he can tell us the experience he has had with the birds here and then after that we will be done for today karibu sana utuambie unaitua nani na ulifika hapa aje ya hile ito amos kwekesa mbani ni huko bungoma ni tembe tembe tu hiko haie hali ya kutafuta hmm nikapatikana nimefika hapa kwa madam regina hmm kapata ni kazi ya kuku naendelea hmm Wana sita zimbayo na zalani kitu. Mm. Tuko na jaribu ku kuendelea ku, ku, kuziangalia angalie nione nyenye yani nyenye wa ndazilani nione. Eh. Hadi nione biashara yenyewe na fanya jinimeona at least. Eh. Mm. Mm. Wana kuna 
Naizenda huko nyumbani hadi mimi nikafanya kitu. Mm. Madam Regina umekaa na yeye kwa muda upi? Madam Regina nimekaa na yeye kwa ni zaizi ni ya tatu. Mwezi wa tatu. Mm. Na umekuwa na yeye ukifanya hii kazi. Yeah. Kuna wakati imekuja wakachinja bado ukiwa. Yeah. Okay. Sasa umeshajua vile zinapewa chakula? Yeah. Si kwa siku hizi mnazipea chakula inatosha na aje? Tunaipea ze kama ni asubuhi. Mm. Asubuhi haifai kule chakula nyingi sana na injua zinakufa sana. Mm. Sawa so, tunaiwekea kama gunia saba hivi ama nane ya mash. Mm. Ama delet. Mm. Lakini usiku ndio wazi na kula mingi. Mm. Kula peti kama kumina tatu, kumina mbili. Mm. Jibo. So usiku muna zipea mara ngapi? Mara moja tu saizi venye zimefika hivi. Mm. Ikifika jioni unaziekea, utaziekea kesho asubuhi. Mm. Okay. Na muko wafanyi kazi wangapi hapa? Tuko wawili. Wawili. Mm. So wawili ndiyo wanaweza kuchunga hizo kuku. Elfu mm. sita miatano. Eh, yeah, wiki jituma pila kufanya uvivu na weza manage. Eh, yeah. lakini wewe unaonelea mtu wakiwa na kuku kama hizi unahitaji wafanyi kazi wangapi? Nibidi tu siyoni kama wengi zana juu wakiwa wengi kazi. Taharibika? Eh. Yeah. Ok. Eh, kingine ni kwamba wakati umekan kwa hili shamba kwa hiyo miezi mitatu. Kuna wakati umeweza kuzipea vaksini wewe mwenyewe? Eh. Vaksini muna zipea aje? Vaksini wa tunapima tu dawa hmm. Tunapima maji kwa na paket hizo kama tatu wa maine hmm. Lavu tunazieka Lavu tunaza kusumuagia na kekitu na muagia hivi chu oh, Unamuagia juu ya maji? Eh. Unaeka kwa maji? Un, unaimuagia hapo? Eh, unafunga maji sasa hivi hmm. Uzi muaga kwa hiyo maji unaipea tu dawa enye hmm. Kikunye kimaliza doza ndi utayifungulia hmm. Yeah. Oh unatoa sasa hiyo dawa yeah. unaweka maji sasa. Yeah. Kwa siku mnaongezea maji eh, mara ngapi? Maji, hii maji. Yes. Hii na kuanga tu throughout. Throughout. Ni yeah. automatic hakuna kukuja mkiweka. Yeah. Oh, inatoka kwa tanks inaingia direct. Yeah, na tembea na Oh okay. Kwa hivyo nyinyi vitu ambavyo mnaongezea manually ni ni chakula tu, yeah. tu chakula. Yeah. Na kama tunaweka kama hiyo vaccine peke yake. Yeah. Hmm. Na hii manyua munabadilisha? Munabadilisha anga? Hizi watu nabadilisha after seme chinjwa Oh, ikichinjwa munatoa yote? Munatoa yote, tunaeka fresh hmm. Hii manyua inaenda wapi? Mkisha yeah. maliza? Tunatupo kwa compost huko, tuna... Maluwa tunamuaga kwa compost huko huko nyuma Hmm Tunamuaga ndani, tuna... alafu tunamuakia kero, ndi usitoa harufu mbaya Hmm Tunafunika vizuri Hmm Oh, ok Eh, yeah, nimelewa Asanti sana kwa kuongea na sisi Wewe kama kijana Unaona kama ni kazi mzuri Ambayo inafanyika hapa Na ni kitu ungependa kufanya wewe mwenyewe eh, Si kazi mbae eh. Kazi mzuri kijituma eh. Nezalani kitu vile minasema hapa mbele eh. Na ni kazi unaweza ambia vijana wengine waingie eh, Ni kazi mzuri si mbae Kunikisikia mtu anataka kazi eh. Neza muitia kakuje pia kawa Akasoma kitu eh. Sasa asanti sana kwa wakati wako tumeshukuru sana Sasa tutamalizia hapo na tumeshukuru sana kukua kwa hili shamba Asanteni sana